الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters about the da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah and one of the traits of the mu'mineen so that means it's one of the traits of Ahl al-Sunnah wal jamaa and that is that they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often so that's what we want to strive our best to do to really be of those who adhere to the book and the sunnah by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How is it that we can say we follow kitab wa sunnah, we don't read kitab wa la sunnah? We, we don't read or practice the Quran. We don't read and practice the sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa but yet we want to claim we're from Ahl sunnah. This narration of one of our salaf as salih Ridwanallahi alayhim shows us that the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, the Minhaj al Salafi, the Minhaj al Salaf al Salih, was not built upon just rejection, not just upon refutation, not definitely was not built upon just speaking about individuals unjustly. Abedin. It's far and free from that. Listen to this beautiful narration. Ma'kul radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said, Remembrance of Allah, the exalted, is a cure. And me mentioning other people is a disease. Ahabat al-Fillah, is that not powerful? Is that not something for us to reflect upon us? Reflect upon. For those who want to traverse the minhaj of the salaf. For those who want to follow the sunnah of the messenger alayhi afdal salatu wasalam. For those who want to earn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure. Understand, as Ma'kul said, remembrance of Allah the exalted is a cure. Because if you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often, this, this cures you of those spiritual diseases without doubt. As we mentioned, it helps to prevent sins and it expiates sins, so many benefits. And likewise, it can cure you of even physical diseases. How so? Well, by remembering Allah Tabarakutala, this can help you deal with your oppression, uh, depression. And for example, some people may not be diagnosed with depression or may not have severe depression but they feel depressed when they commit sins. That's a sign that they have some iman. That they feel sorrow when they're watching the haram. And after watching the haram. And maybe while doing the haram, they feel sorrow. That's a sign of iman. And remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can help cure falling into that sin and cure the sadness that you feel from doing those sins and be maybe perhaps an expiation for those sins. And sickness, as Ma'kul said, look at the, why can't we follow the Minhaj of the Salaf? We're always talking about Salafi this and the Minhaj of Salaf in this and Ahl Sunnah wa Ahl Athar wa Ahl Hadith. But when we see in the spiritual matters of what they talk about, coming from the book and the sunnah and their understanding of the book and the sunnah we depart we go astray we choose our own view we emphasize what we want to emphasize and what's in according with our desires and that is a sign of ahlul bid'ai wal ahwa that is a sign of the people of innovation and desires so he said and mentioning other people is a disease Allahu Akbar if you spend your time, especially refuting people based on batil, especially backbiting people, especially slandering and spreading tales and lies and cursing and speaking evil of others, you have a disease. So it's imperative a habitifillah that we begin to really understand the minhaj of the salaf and that we can't pick and choose athar that we need to take the whole package 
And it begins with the Book of Allah in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Minhaj of the Salaf is just the means for understanding the Book in the Sunnah and practicing the Book in the Sunnah. And it begins with the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal the Almighty to bless us to be of the Thakirina, wa Thakirat, wa Mu'minina, wa Mu'minat, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam.